Brooklyn Independent Television. In case you're just joining us, you may have missed our previous conversation with the head coach Jim Ferry about LIU men's basketball. But joining me is Julian Boyd and also Jamal Alasaware, and they are back this season. And before, while we were before we started this uh, conversation, these two men were jostling each other, joking around. Right? What is it like when you guys are on the road together? Well, I mean, on the road is just full of laughter and fun. I mean, basically this whole team is like one of the closest teams I've ever been bitten on and we're all so close, especially me and this guy. We always find a way to make a laugh come out of the group. But uh, I mean, it's just fun being with these guys. It just makes this the season and, and the years here have been so much better. All right. Let's talk about last year. Last year was an incredible year. You went to the big dance. You guys won the conference. You guys just about set records, especially on the road. You set a lot of records. You were the most winningest team in the NCAA last year. I mean, that's just our, our philosophy. Our coach says, you know, we want us to be road, road warriors. I mean, if we're on the road and we, we stick to the same things that we take into value here at home, I mean, we give ourselves a good chance to win on, on the road as long as we instill and do the same things that we've been doing here on the road. It can carry over and give us a good chance to win. Jamal? Uh, everyone knows the home games are going to be easy, you know. Uh, we got the crowd, but I mean, on the road, uh, you got to come together as a team, and that's what coach usually preaches every day in practice. And even, you know, when we're just meeting one of his offices, come together as a team, be together, and that's all you need, really. Now, CBSSports.com picked you guys to win the conference. They also picked him as player of the year, <laughs> right? <laughs> He's, Julian Boyd is a great player, and uh, if anyone deserves it, it would be him. You know, he's a great player, he's a great person off the court. He's very humble, you know, he shows humility, he does, he's, not one, he's not a cocky player. So if, I'll be proud if my teammate gets it. Do you rib him a lot about that one? Do I what? Player, yeah. being player of the year, do you guys rib him on the team about uh, that? Yeah, you know, you know, he, <laughs> it's, you know we're, 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 we make fun of each other a lot, so yeah, we, we get on him a lot, but. He knows it's all jokes. Julian, how do you feel about that as far as it I mean, it's, it's always great to have, you know, an honor like, like that to be um, mentioned with. But, I mean, like I was told in high school, my high school coach always says um, individual success is from team glory. And, I mean, I wouldn't be able to be in that position without my, my team being able to set me up for the, the points I get or, or the shots I'm open for. Thing, things like that are always them around, around me to be able to feel good about what we're doing. So I wouldn't even be able to be mentioned and stuff like this if it wasn't for the, the whole team as a whole. As a team overall, I know there were several moments that stood out the course of last season, but can you go over some of them? I mean, mine definitely was probably winning the championship. I mean, that was just what we worked, worked hard for the whole, whole season. And being able to be in the championship game, let, let alone win it was, I mean, it was great. We had a great crowd here. Our teammates, we, you know, we rallied together and we was able to pull through it and have it in a overtime game. That was, I mean, that made it even more intense and, and better. But at the end, I think that was one of the best films I've had while being here is just hearing that buzzer go off and knowing that we were champions of the NEC. Definitely uh, the championship game, especially because it was Robert Morris. There's a little, you know, there's a little rivalry going on between us two. And for, the, uh, for all the support we got from the uh, people on campus, it was an amazing feeling. You know, it just, it was a great feeling. Uh, I hope we can uh, repeat this year. Speaking of the campus, what is the feeling anticipating this season coming up, especially amongst the student body? I mean, com compared to last year, this year all I hear is, you know, are we going to get a repeat? Are you guys going to do the same way you did last year? Are we going to see this and that? I mean, there's been a lot more or, or people that I don't, I didn't even know come to games asking me about this season and stuff. So. I mean, compared to last year, I just I hope and I know we have a lot more fans, a lot more fan support, and you know we're going to be able to have have them here here at games. I'm ho hopefully we'll have a lot more people like we did at championship game, and it'll just be great. And uh, ho hopefully, you know they come and support like the way they are right 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 now before the season. Yeah, you know everybody, you win one championship, everybody wants you to win a second one. So I mean, there's a lot of pressure on our back, but we're, we're not we're not really focused on repeating. We're focused on getting another one. You know, the whole, we're not trying to get caught up in the hype. You know, we've been picked first. We're just taking it day by day. You know, hopefully uh, this, we have the same outcome as last year and even further, really. And with the notoriety comes a target. And now you are the hunted. De definitely. In the conference, especially. Yeah, definitely. Like, like our coach says, we're not one of the teams trying to make playoffs anymore, trying to get a top four, four seed anymore. We're, we're basically the, the person that everyone has circled on the calendars, on their list. Like when we play LIU, this is the game we have to win. 
and be and we we know that now so it just makes us we have to work a lot more more harder and be a lot more better than we were last year to be able to overcome those those problems and those obstacles is there a particular character of this team last year's team had a certain particular character what is the character of this year's team jamal uh i would say an aggressive style uh, we're trying to focus really on defense with our energy and just coming out and ready to play every single every single minute of uh, the game you know uh, I would say aggressive, you know, just and focusing on, on defense and our energy level. Now, your first two weeks you're on the road, you come back here, you play in December, I believe, right? It would be a good start to start off the month of December here. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we have to, we don't want to look too, too, too far ahead of that home game because, you know, we have a lot of games on, on the road first, so we have to go, go on those games and fo focus on what we need to do, and it will definitely feel good to come, come, come home. And, be able to play here at home at the beginning of December and hopefully we have, like I said, a lot of people around us and, and rally around us, but it's basically, it's about us and once we go on the road, do we have to do, it'll be a great feeling to come back here and start off that month with a home game. Making the big dance also, North Carolina, to play, like, describe how you felt at that particular moment. Everybody knows that. Growing up, everybody's a North Carolina fan, Roy Williams, they had some great players growing up. And to get the chance to, uh, you know, play against a Roy Williams and a North Carolina Tar Heel team, it was great. But we also wanted to go out and win and, you know, prove, prove ourselves. But, I mean, it was, you know, it was, a, it was a great feeling. And this year, hopefully, we can get a rematch because I, I, I wish we played him again. But, uh, it was, you know, hopefully we get back there again and even go farther. You have a cross-town rival, St. Francis. You always look forward to playing that particular game, even though they've sort of been down in the dumps in the conference. That's always a competitive game. Yeah, I mean, no matter if they're they're good one year, we're not that at good one point one year. I mean, that game is always intense. No, no, no matter what, there's never been since I've been here and since I've known in the history, there's never been a blowout in that game because you know we always won't want to be eat, eat them. They want to be eat us. So we both bring bring our extra A A game that game to try and beat eat, beat, beat each other. Well, thank you. Thanks for coming. Wish you luck during the regular season, and uh, hopefully see you deep in the conference, yeah. and also deep in the tournament. Thank we'll be back with more of In the Zone right after this. Follow us on Twitter at BK Independent TV.